Okay, right, so it's been, it's been a long day. I've finally done all my uh, tubing runs. It took me about five or six hours because I've, like I said, I've never done this uh, this style of custom water calling before. So it's time to fill it. Now I've got a second power supply plugged in at the moment and I've just jumped it so that um, we can obviously fill the loop without actually turning this, the system on. And that's also obviously plugged into the into the pump. So let's go ahead. I've double checked all of the fittings. So everything is in. Now this is going to be live, so if it fucks up. I might use this. We're in. Right, now let's switch it on for a second. Need a power plug. Oh, I've not done this before. This is really nerve wracking. <laughs> All right, switch it on. Let a bit of that go through. Switch it off again. Power supplies on. Pumps on. Oh, turn off. Quick, 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 quick. Need more in there. It's very important. Oh, that was lucky. It's very important not to let the pump run dry. Any leaks? Go out there. Switch him off. On. Switch him on again. Oh, go, go, go. Believe me, I'm not trying to run that um, dry, it just jumps down there so quick. Oh, it stinks. Right again. It's probably where it's all leaking out the back. <laughs> Hopefully I've got enough uh, coolant. God, I am running out. On again. All right, I think we're almost uh, God, I've got all that air that needs to come out. Fill, fill. Don't leak. <laughs> Let me check out, ensure it's not leaking anywhere. So I still need to get all the air bubbles out. Make sure it's actually down here. Nope. Get back there, nope.
a bit more liquid in there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this running for, um, I think it says in the instructions to leave it running for 24 hours before starting the system properly. So uh, that is what I might do. Depends how long it takes to get all the air bubbles out. So uh, obviously I'm gonna make sure it's not, it's not leaking. All right, so we've been leak testing now for what? A couple of hours, two hours maybe. I've removed the tissue because I'm gonna be going to bed in a minute. So I wanted to make sure there was no uh, blue liquid on the uh, tissue before I left it. So I'm going to obviously turn this off and carry on tomorrow because I do want to I do want to run it for a good few hours just make sure I haven't got any small minor leaks. So down here you can see all my failed attempts of uh, bending. <laughs> couple of them I put in and then I changed I probably spent most of the day doing the uh, tubing this one's a bit weird here but I thought it looked quite funky this like massive like curvy one but the tubing looks bigger in real life anyway so tomorrow I'm gonna let it bleed for a couple more hours uh, make sure there's no air in the system and then I'm going to obviously double check it hasn't leaked and then fire it up off its own power supply and we will be finally done. Okay so it's been a good few hours now, we have come back the next day. Uh, there's no leaks or anything so we can remove the tissue. So I pull it out and there's a big blue stain on there. So it's now time to finally start the computer under its own power. So we've got it all hooked up to the, uh, the normal power supply. And this is the first time I'm turning it on. So this is where I find out if it's broken or if I've done something wrong. Turn him on. Is the pump on? It should be on. Oh no, because I haven't started yet. Disco! Will it post? Will it post? Now I've actually uh, got two hard drives in here uh, with Windows on, so I'm not sure which one it's going to try and boot from. I'm going to have to obviously reformat it and put a new put a new uh, operating system on it. I haven't put it on the USB, not USB, I haven't put it on HDMI. Let's go to USB. Reposting. Okay. So these lights are going to obviously be probably just white or blue or something they're not going to stay disco color and then I've got my RGB fans at the back as well they're probably going to go just one color we'll put the side panel on this is where I find out the side panel doesn't fit from my tubing so that one on fits Do you want the pleasure of removing this sticker? Mm -hmm. Go on then. Pull! So you pull the computer over. I'm probably going to take it off again in a bit anyway, but I, I shouldn't need to now. Okay, so thanks for watching my build log. 
we're pretty much all done now. We've got Windows installed and we set up a, a very quick profile for our lighting. So I've got the uh, side panels back on. Do a very quick walk around. So thanks for watching my build log and uh, pretty much all done.